week three NFL football, Monday night football. I know you guys are here for winners. I'm sure you guys were a part of an absolute bloodbath this weekend. If you weren't, kudos to you. You are one of the rarities across social media, across YouTube, across paid communities. Guys were absolutely losing their asses this weekend. And I got to be honest, I'm as much as I miss being a part of some of the action just because I was busy running around, had my hands tied a bit. Um, I'm happy to not be a part of the bloodbath, but we did have a little bit of action. We cashed one ticket that we played, the only uh, DFS ticket that we played for the weekend. I believe we had uh, Lamar Jackson over one passing touchdown, Kyron Williams over one passing touchdown, and then we took the free uh, square that Prize Picks offered us for Caleb Williams to go over one passing yard. So that was really our only action this weekend. Um, and I got to say, I don't regret it. I don't regret it one bit, but you guys are here for the winners. You guys are here to put in your last minute bets and sweat a little bit, but we're hoping, we're hoping that you won't have to sweat this one. So let's get into the picks. Now I'm going to show you guys this in prize picks just because I know that this is most of your guys. Um, I don't even know if it's your favorite app as much as it's the only one that you've been exposed to. So I'm going to go ahead and make this bet in prize picks, but I got to say they do not want you to win. None of these books do, but prize picks especially, they're the big dog. So they're going to have the lowest payouts. They're going to cut away the, the safer bets or they're just going to completely diminish the payout. Um, and you guys have to be on multiple books the same way as a sports better you'd be on, you know, MGM, DraftKings, FanDuel, Hard Rock, overseas books. You guys need options so that you can shop. But I'm going to go ahead and, and place just a simple bet in here just because you guys are used to the platform. But there's a bet that I really, really like that every book should have and somehow prize picks doesn't. And that is exactly why. I know that it's a banger. I absolutely know that it's a banger because prize picks won't even let you bet it. So I'm gonna actually show you guys the bet that I have in mind. Um, and now mind you guys, this is on chalkboard, okay? So over on chalkboard, we got Saquon Barkley over 18 and a half receiving yards. We got Dallas Goddard over three and a half receptions. Now, if we take a look at prize picks, guys, prize picks, does not want you to bet on Dallas Goddard receptions because the line is too good. If we look at all the players available here for receptions, guys, they do not want you to bet on this Dallas Goddard reception line. Why is that? Because it's too fucking good. And if you guys want a little bit more research to validate this, right? Because if we were to go ahead and take a look on outlier, right? A lot of the signs point to, oh man, well, he hasn't had over four receptions since last year. Um, but if we look at the game last week in Brazil, uh, there were two receivers in the Eagles offense with receptions. And that was obviously skinny Batman and buff Batman. Um, but Dallas Goddard did have four receptions as well as I believe six targets. We'll double check that right here. Five targets. So he had four grabs on five targets. Now, there is a lot of volume that needs to be taken care of. And I know probably you guys, I'm probably one of the last videos that you're watching today, but everybody is telling you to take Devontae Smith yards. And trust me, I like it. I like Devontae Smith. I like Devontae Smith receptions, but AJ Terrell is pretty good. And AJ Brown, now that he's out, he's a man nightmare. He's a man coverage nightmare. And so I wasn't going to be surprised if AJ Terrell was just shadowing AJ Brown all day, but now he gets to shadow the smaller, skinnier Devontae Smith. And if we take a quick look here, guys, uh, the Falcons ran the second most zone coverage in week one at an 83.3% clip. And in 2023, as the Rams defensive coordinator, Raheem Morris ran zone at a top eight rate in the entire league. Now, this is why we know that this Dallas Goddard line is going to absolutely smack, boys, because against zone coverage over the past two seasons, Dallas Goddard has seen a 15.4% boost in his targets per round route, route ran, whatever, right? So his volume already picks up versus zone coverage. The Falcons 
ran the second most zone coverage last week. Now they lose their number one receiver. And now the picture starts to get really clear. The picture starts to get really clear. Dallas Goddard is absolutely going to smack this line. Okay, guys. So we take a look at that. We got Dallas Goddard over three and a half receptions. Now the Saquon Barkley line, I like it a lot at 18 and a half uh, receiving yards. I really like the probability of it. But another thing that we can do here as well is we can take a look at his touchdowns either way. I like it. But with AJ Brown out, he is a monster on third down. And now somebody has to take that share. And I really believe Saquon Barkley is probably going to do this on one, if not two receptions. So we'll take a look here. Saquon Barkley, somewhat, a lot of books have it at 16 and a half. Oh shit, it's climbing guys. Look at this. Now it's over at 20 and a half on prize picks. Damn, so did it just shift right now? Good thing we locked that in on, um, on chalkboard because the line is shifting. They expect some action. All right, so we got Saquon Barkley to go over 18 and a half receiving yards, okay? So if we take a look at the receiving yards, Saquon Barkley, where you at? Yeah, Price Picks has it at 20 and a half, guys. Either way, I like it, but again, they do not want you to win. I don't know how clear I can make this. So guys, if you're still here, if you're still paying attention, go sign up on Chalkboard. They're gonna match you $100 um, 100% up to $100. All you have to do is use my code, code JHill, and that is going to get you a free $100 and the best odds of these DFS apps. You do not want to be on these bigger books like Prize Picks and Underdog as much because they are the big dogs. They don't need your money. They, but you keep giving it to them. Sports betting is hard enough as it is. Go where the odds will be more in your favor. Okay, guys, so now we have uh, Saquon Barkley, over 18 and a half receiving yards. If you want to take an extra look, and really I do think it is interchangeable, but last week he had 23 receiving yards versus Green Bay. Uh, we expect that volume to go up with A.J. Brown, okay? Now, um, the other line that we have on here is actually a little bit of baseball action because we have Fernando Tatis. He's homered, if we take a look, four of the last five games. In terms of hits, runs, RBIs, he has hit the line five games in a row. And now this is that, that time of the season where everything matters just a little bit more, right? Everything matters a little bit more, guys. Um, and they're going up against the Astros. It's going to be a fun one to watch. I'm going to be running split screens. I'm going to be running both. But Tatis has been on absolute fire since he came back. And now he's really on a scorcher. Home runs, like I said, in four of the last five games. And now uh, we know what this Padres lineup does versus right-handed right pitching. Right, Tatis on the year is hitting 300 versus right-handed pitching. Uh, 17 bombs, 41 ribbies, and a 900 OPS. No history versus Spencer Aragetti. But Spencer Aragetti, um, he's been very serviceable. But he is not blanking guys like he was for that small stretch there. So if we take a quick look at Aragetti, right? We take a quick look here. And what do we got? Seven hits in the last outing, five hits in the outing before. And that was a short one too. Five hits and didn't make it out of the first inning. So he's coming off of back-to-back -back outings that were... Um, less than stellar, right? I mean, it's a quality outing here versus Oakland, but Oakland is no longer playing for anything. Then they have been streaky up and down. Uh, obviously, we know what Brent Rooker and Lawrence Butler have done for them, uh, but you can't just win with two guys. You can't win with two guys. And now you're, you have Spencer Aragetti going up against a lineup that doesn't really strike out. They're the number one offense in baseball versus right-handed pitching. They produce runs like crazy, and everything is on the line for them. I like this line a lot. I like this line a lot, guys. So that is the pick that we got for you. Saquon Barkley, over 18 and a half receiving yards on chalkboard. If you want to take it on prize picks, you're going to get it at 20 and you're going to get it at lower odds. Dallas Goddard, over three and a half receiving yards. If you want that, you have to do it on chalkboard because prize picks does not want you to win. And then this Tatis line right here is actually a boosted play, which again, prize picks is not going to do, guys. So 
Make sure you go sign up on Chalkboard, download it in the App Store, use code JHill. You're going to get a free $100. Prize Picks ain't doing that for you as well. So take that. Here's your 5X. Monday night is here. And then, guys, from now until Thursday, now until Thursday, I'm going to give 10 people, the first 10 people that sign up for my NFL Week 3 package, I'm going to give you 50% off. And because it's Week 3, third time's the charm, go ahead, use code CHARM. That's going to get you 50% off. So sign, go over to winnable.com slash Hill. Do the NFL Week 3 package. Use code CHARM. That's going to give you half off. You're going to have winners on Thursday, Sunday, Monday. Only for 50 bucks, guys. We're going to make it back on Thursday, and the rest is just going to be profit. So that's all I got for you guys today. This is Playmakers Picks. We're swimming in profits for you. We did the research for you. I like Devontae Smith, but I love Saquon Barkley, and I love Dallas Goddard tonight. This is all we got. This is all we got. Let's make some money. Peace.